My name is Ron Gold and in conjunction with Three Tree Hill Lodge I've been making a, a series of short videos on the Fuertrika people. Today I'm standing on the banks of a little stream that would become known as the Malan Spreit and behind me you can see a ridge of ground that um, today is known as Rendsburg's Kop which was the site of a small battle on the 17th of February 18. 38. To place the uh, events of this day in context, um, Peter Atif, the leader of the Fuhr Trekkers, with 70 men, 30 of his followers and servants, had journeyed into Zululand where they'd been tricked and murdered by the Zulu king Dingaan. Dingaan then ordered his armies to cross the Tugela River to come into this area in an attempt to drive out all of these foreigners, these white settlers, that were moving in. And just after midnight, the morning of the 17th of February, a horrific massacre was perpetrated not far from where I'm standing, where approximately 500 Fuertrickers, mostly women and children, who were marking out their farms, and uh, including a large number of servants, were slaughtered. Now, following that massacre, the Zulu army then had heard that there was an encampment of Fuertrickers in what is today the town of Escort, no town then of course, and they began to move in the early morning light to this area. They moved up the Bushman's River, moving upstream with the main body of the Zulu army on either side of the stream, but the Zulu battle tactic was that the, the flanks, if you like, the horns of the army, were moving on the extreme left and the extreme right, and the Zulu left horn was moving along the ridge high above the river when some of their scouts noticed off to the east another little valley, the valley of the Milan Spreit, which is where I'm standing. And in this valley was a collection of wagons. Well, as you can see, this site is uh, not visited that often but hopefully we will be able to find our way to the monument at the top. Well, after that little adventure, we found it. There is the monument right on top of the ridge and I'm standing here looking to the east into the beautiful valley of the Milan Spreit. From the top of the ridge, Rendsburg's Kop, I am looking east um, upstream on the Milan Spreit and in the distance were the wagons of Wilhelmus Pretorius on the one side of the stream and on the other side, the leader of the group, Commandant von Rendsburg. There were three other families here in the river, the von Lochrenberg family and the Harmses were camped much closer to where I'm standing, uh, on my right or on the south. And uh, there was one further family, the Malans. But a day or two earlier, news had reached this valley that Gerrit Moritz, the Boer leader, was extremely concerned that Peter Atif had not returned and he suggested that settlers move into his fortified camp, his lager at Sailar, and the Malans took advantage of that. So when this incident takes place, there were only the four families. At approximately nine o'clock in the morning of the 17th of February, the Fuertrika families in the valley where we've just had a look were horrified to see on the ridge to the west Zulus appearing and beginning to stream down the slopes towards the Milan Spreit stream. The Fuertrikas had had a contingency and Commandant van Rensburg had alerted them to the fact that if Zulus were seen they should simply drop everything and run up onto this little ridge which is what they do. There'll be 12 to 15 uh, men and boys 
and probably another 20 to 25 women and children. Standing here in the bed of the stream, it's possible to see how well chosen this little ridge was. And Commandant von Rendsburg had selected probably the best place to fight off any attack. Behind me, the stream drops down over a waterfall into a very steep gorge. And so as we pan across to Rendsburg's Corp itself, you can see that the southern side in turn drops into the gorge, as does the western side, which is out of our view. The slope that we are looking at is also very, very steep. And Zulus attacking from where I'm standing would have had to not only contend with heavy fire from well-placed marksmen at the top of the ridge, but also with very steep slopes. The only reasonable way to approach would be from the north. Well, the Furtigas arrived here, um, Zulus came pouring across the Milan Sprate and began to advance on the hill, and they began to open fire. But then when they cracked open the little kegs of gunpowder, they found to their horror that they'd brought the wrong kegs. It wasn't gunpowder, it was salt. And uh, they would only be able to get off a few shots. How many Zulus attacked them? We can't be exactly sure. There's an element of the Zulu left horn, probably between 1,000 and 1,500 warriors, led by their regimental chief, Manzim Dada.